So let's get into the fascial expansion for the wrist and hand. This is really interesting work because we're combining fascial manipulation with acupuncture. And so we start treating conditions such as not just things like carpal tunnel syndrome, but this could actually affect everything all the way up to the elbow, the hands, the fingers. And a lot of our patients who come in who have osteoarthritic changes throughout the entire hand will greatly benefit from this work. So let's move on to the first acupuncture point for the fascial expansion of the wrist and hand. This would be pericardium seven. Now it's located in the middle of the transverse crease of the wrist. So we'll bend the wrist here and right in between here. Now this is between the tendons of the palmaris longus and the flexor carpi radialis. So we're talking right in between here. You feel that Mickey? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that pretty sore? It's not bad. It's not bad? Tender. tender. So we're going to go counterclockwise, clockwise, move it around between oh, about 30 seconds to three minutes. And we're just going to work our way around there. Feeling that quite a bit? Mm -hmm. Okay. Could also just use pressure on that while I take it like this. How does that feel? Yeah, more there. <laughs> okay. Good. So again, 30 seconds to three minutes. And you'll know. How long you can spend on here when the pain starts easing out a bit? How's that feeling right now, Mickey? Yeah, it's, Hardly anything yeah. there now. I can feel it soften almost yeah. immediately. Yeah. Okay. So this is pericardium seven acupuncture point, which is lung nine. Now this point is on the radial end of the transverse crease. So transverse crease, bend the wrist, go right to the end, radial side near the thumb. And you're going to actually palpate here for a pulse. Okay, I can feel that pulse. You're alive, Mickey. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, so it's right around that area. And then I'm going to stimulate that in there. So if you start feeling a lot of pain around the pulse or the pulse reading from that point, don't push too hard on there. How's that feel? That's good. So this is commonly used in traditional Chinese medicine for wrist pain. But we also see, again, how we have strong neurological input at this point because they also use it for a wide variety of different conditions throughout the body. Such as problems up in the lungs in terms of cough and even some swallowing problems. Not too tender there? No, it's actually not Okay, bad. so we're going to get on there and kind of work it around a bit. Counterclockwise and clockwise. So it's not painful right now. No. Good. So again, this is lung nine. So the next acupuncture points I want to go over are triple heater four and triple heater five. Now for triple heater four, basically we go on the dorsum side of the wrist between the tendons of the extensor digitorum and extensor digiti minima. Now we move from the dorsal wrist crease. We've been here, we see the crease across here. We're gonna move up one tune. So Mickey, why don't you give me the width of your thumb there, just from the crease there, up. Okay, it's about right there. So I'm gonna get in there and kind of stimulate that area. Is that sense at all or? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll get in there approximately 30 seconds to a few minutes, two or three. Now in traditional Chinese medicine, they will use this for wrist pain. But interesting because they have so many neurological, uh, so much neurological input to the area. They'll also use this for neck pain, which is quite interesting. Neck pain, neck stiffness, and even for headaches. Now, if we want to go to triple heater five, we're actually going to move up two chun from the dorsal wrist crease. So why don't you take your fingers there? Go one. Okay. Now then another one. And we'll move up about to about here. And this is triple heater five. Now that is sensitive, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So this is right between the radius and the ulna and it's two tune proximal to the dorsal wrist crease. So we could have pain in the wrist or hand. This would become very useful. But interestingly enough, in traditional Chinese medicine, it would also follow the entire meridian and pain anywhere along the meridian. They would use this for, but in our case here, we're just going to consider wrist and hand pain and perhaps elbow pain.
Tender there? Yes. Yeah, pretty tender. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so these are triple heater four and triple heater five. So the next point we're going over is large intestine five. Now, its location is on the radial side of the wrist between the tendons of the extensor pollicis longus and extensor digitorum. So we're talking thumb up here, thumb up position, just on this side right there. Good. How are we doing there, Mickey? Oh, it's tender. Pretty tender right there? Yep. Okay. So we're going to move that around a bit. Take this up. Now again, we're going to be in here for 30 seconds to a few minutes, even up to three minutes. Now, in terms of traditional Chinese medicine, if we move up here, the wrist crease is here, and we're going to go up there just slightly from that point there. They would say that this is about one tune proximal to the radial wrist crease. Feel not leave more right there? More, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I think we're a little bit closer to it now. Good. So this is a very common one they use in traditional Chinese medicine for wrist pain and inflammation. And this is large intestine five. So the last point we're gonna cover in terms of the fascial expansion for the wrist and hand is gonna be small intestine four. Now, the location of this is on the ulnar side of the hand between the base of the fifth metacarpal bone and the hamate bone. So we're gonna come off here to about right there. Yep. How's that feel, Mickey? That is tender. That is tender in there. So this is about one tune proximal to the ulnar border of the palm, okay. Right about there. Yeah, right there. Now, they usually commonly use this for both hand and wrist disorders in traditional Chinese medicine. So we're going to stimulate this for about 30 seconds, up to three minutes. And as soon as we start easing off a little bit in terms of the pain. It's still pretty tender, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we'll get in there. Move that around. Okay, so this is small intestine four.